All right, let's do a quick how-to video to show how I've been stopping all my short bites on my swim baits, my three inch and three and a half inch swim baits in the surf. Um, I was exp the, the three inch works great. I was getting a ton of short bites, meaning the fish was you know grabbing the tails but not getting hooked, not going all the way up to the hook and getting getting hooked. They were biting here, biting the tails off, where I could feel it bite, but nothing you know wouldn't stick. So I tried to treble hook. You know, it worked, but it wasn't when I deal the tail was getting stuck on it. So I figured let's add a Stinger hook to that So I'm going to show you how I make my stinger hooks on there I'm just going to use 10 pound line right now a little bigger than I would normally use because usually with the lighter tackle I'm fishing a uh, You know somewhere around either four or six pound, but just for this example I'm going to do 10 pounds so you can see it make it a little easier to, to see in the camera the four or six would be really small diameter line so it'd be hard to see it so I'll go ahead and take a doesn't have to be long but just take a little piece of 10 all right so I'll go ahead and tie this line onto the hook here with a simple cinch clinch whatever you want to call it just a simple knot I wrap it five or six times let's go through the eye here or through the uh, line rather okay tighten that up there you go that's tight secure cut that little tag end off boom there you have it so that parts done now I'll go ahead and shorten this just a bit okay now the trick with this is to make this hook just barely stick into the tail Roll it over so you can see. Just want it into the tail about that far. Right? You don't want it sticking all the way out here. You don't want it just barely in there over here. So you gotta have it just barely about halfway into the, the hook, halfway into the tail. So I leave when I'm tying the knot about half inch, three quarters of an inch there. I do the same knot. And wrap it five or six times. Again, whatever knot you're comfortable with, whatever knot you're used to, just go ahead and use that, that knot. That'll, that's going to be your best knot. It's what you're most comfortable with. Okay, as you see, there, there's going to be a lot of, as you pull this line, there's going to be a lot of slack that comes into that. So I just keep pulling it as that line, and then cinch it up. Boom. That's as, that's as much as it needs. Cut that little tag end off. All right, now all I'm gonna do is take this hook. I'm gonna slide it into that part of the tail. It can go on the sides, doesn't really matter. But to start with, I go right into the, into the base of the tail, pull it out the back, and boom. There's my stinger. Now the key to this stinger setup is you have to have, this has to be a really lightweight hook. Uh, this is a size 10 bait holder. So you can see the little little notches right there. A little bait holder mosquito hook. Kind of like a, yeah, that's what it is. Just bait holder mosquito hook. You can get these online, whether at uh, Amazon, Barlow's, whatever, doesn't matter. But again, the key is it has to be very light. And the reason for it being light is that if it's too heavy, it's going to weigh that tail down. It's not going to have the action that it's supposed to have. With it being light like this, it doesn't add weight to the tail. You can see that tail still still sitting high, and it still gives it allows it that action. But when that fish comes and does a short bite, it only wants to grab the tail and doesn't get high. This little stinger again, stinger hook, tail hook, trail hook, whatever you want to call it, that's going to hook the fish if they don't get up to here. If it's a bigger fish, yeah, it's they're gonna they're gonna get up here. Halibut, big perch, big yellowfin croaker, whatever bass, spotted bay bass, whatever they're gonna get that hook. But for those ones that are smaller mouths and just go for a, a quick bite on the tail and aren't going to get, this is what's going to get them. Now, let's see it in action. All right, try a little something with the stinger. Actually, tied line on with the stinger in the tail. Let's see if this works. the short bites.
we go. There we go. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Nice big old Kroger. <laughs> nice. Choked on the three inch river. Oh my goodness. Got it good. You. So nice of it. Came unpinned without me having to do anything. Thank you, little buddy. Saves me a lot of work. Awesome. Shoot back in the water. You big. That's a that's a 15, 16 inch fish. Let's clean it off. Let's take a better look at it. There you go. You get you back in the water now. later you do it again that fish did not need that stinger it went for the whole entire thing that was awesome perfect perfect get another one oh Drop and missed it. No hit. There we go. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, oh, no, go on. Another one. Dude, that, see that was on the stinger. That's what I was talking about. That's why I made it like this. So it would get the stinger hook on the short bites. That worked out perfect. Look at that. See that? Let's get the weeds out of here. See, that's where I did it. Get that short bite. Nice. All right, let's get this guy unpinned. back in the water definitely a smaller one probably about 14 inch Woo! thanks little buddy gonzo <laughs> perfect 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 in a row. Let's see if we can get a third in this little hole. There's a good one. There we go. There's a good one. There's a good one.
stinger. Stinger. Getting them on the stinger hook. It's working perfectly. <laughs> They're short bites. There we go. Nice. Swim bay, I don't have to wait for all the waves to go by or I cast. It's a much heavier setup than like the Carolina rig. And the waves will just sweep that thing right on by. The setup just sinks. Stays low. Heavy. You need to swim it, not let it sit. Seven bikes, 15 minutes, four or five fish. Nailing it. Nailing it. I mean, they're done. Gotta find them. Find them again. Remember the hungry ones are. Croker, that's for sure. Beautiful. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice one. Yes, yeah, son. Beautiful. Alright, dude. Thanks for playing. You on the three inch ripper. Chrome blue. The UV blast. Finish on the jig head and a little stinger hook. swim bait morning. Get them big ones. Have a 
do it. That'll do it. That's the one we end on. That's the one we end on right there. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Choked on it. That's the one. Alright y'all. Three inch ripper. Chrome blue Nova stone with the UV blast finish. Little stinger tail. Got a 15 inch yellowfin croaker. Choked on it. That's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Now you go get some. You. Gonzo.